Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and I'm going to be continuing my tutorial series on how to do a 2D RPG in Unity 3D. To start off, if you'd like, um, please subscribe to us. Um, you can click on that button up there. If you'd like to see our Google Plus page, we post a lot of stuff there. Click up here. And if you'd like to see our YouTube channel, you can click down here. Um, to start off, guys, I'd like to apologize. What is that? Hmm, weird. Um, yeah. I just really like to apologize because I messed up the last tutorial. When we did that health scripting, um, it was it did not work because I designed it that I designed it to fail. Um, not intentionally, accidentally. So I fixed that. I'm gonna post these to a link to download both of these scripts below. This one is just if it gets hit and it has the tag of something, then subtract the health. And if health equals zero, then go to the game over scene name. Um, and if the advanced health, it's just if you change that bool. Um, I'm going to be working more with this basic health script, but if you'd like to follow along with this advanced health script, you can. So I'm going to drag this basic health script onto my health check object, which I made. And it's already there because, well, I did that earlier. Um, so, yeah, I just dragged and dropped it. I gave him five health, and I gave him... I uh, set the tag name to enemy. I'm going to go to bottom and I'm going to turn off is trigger. That's something we're doing later in this tutorial, so stick around for that. And on this tag, I'm going to select enemy for now, just so I can show you how it works. You run into it, it gets destroyed. Yep. Um, also, you can see that I set the game over scene name to null because I don't have a game over scene yet. Um, first of all, I'm going to save this. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of this tag, untagged, so that it doesn't do that anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to rename this scene, because this is not the main scene. This is the first, this is a room. So I'm going to make a room one. Now I'm going to create a new scene, save the settings, and I'm going to come into here. Now I'm going to set the main camera, um, to zero, zero. So it's right in the middle of the screen. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a plane by going to create plane. Then I'm going to rotate it on the x 90, negative 90, so you can see it. And I'm going to scale it up 5 by 5. 5. 5. And I think if I rotate around, it should be pretty thick, but it's not. So that's the front view or the back view, where the camera is. And so now we're going to start... Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, I need to move that back to negative 10. That's why that was at negative 10. Then I'm just going to go game object, light, directional light. So I have, well, it's seen. Now, like I did the other room, I'm not going to be doing any um, textures for now, because right now this is just getting it done and later we'll be making it look good. So I'm going to create a new material called um, World Material. And I'm going to set this color to, I'm going to preview it by dragging it onto our plane and then changing the color. So I want it to be like a lush green texture. Um, Give it a bit more of that. There, that looks good. And that's pretty lush too, so yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our player from our last scene onto here. Now he's already set up to work. Now from here, I'm going to go to scene, go to the back view. And you'll notice the camera is kind of right there. Oh, I have a main camera in there. Well, that's weird. Um, oh, wait, that was from what I was doing earlier. Okay, so I was trying to work, figure out how to do this, so that's what I did. So first of all, I'm going to position behind here. I, I'm just going to hit player and then hit F, so I focus right on the center. I can't see the camera anymore, so I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to move it to where this is directly in the center. I'm going to move it up, 
and move it in. I'm, gonna, I'm looking at this camera preview down here, just so you know. And I actually want him to be kind of in the center. It's about right there. And that's a little far in, so I'm going to make this point. Negative three. Five. Yeah, five's good. Okay, so now I'm going to parent the main camera to the player so that he moves along. Now watch, you'll see we kind of run off in a minute. Um, oh, there he goes. So yeah, you run off after a minute or so, but and that's just because we don't have any texture, so there's no parallax. And there's no motion blur yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make our building. And so what I need to figure out is where this plane is on the Y. Okay, I'm going to copy this Y number. Um, and then I'm going to create a 3D object plane because it's a 2D. And I'm going to set this Y. Oh, not the Y. I'm an idiot. Um, the X. Should be the X. Wait a second. It is the Y. And then I'm just going to rotate this 90. Negative 90. And then go into game view so I can see it. Kind of scale it down to 0.5 by 0.5. Seriously, who has a house that big? Keep scaling. I probably should get out of game view so I can see how big it is. 0.5 by 0.5 by 0.5. Fair size. Yeah, that's actually pretty fair. Um, and now I'm just going to make a basic material so it stands out by creating material. Call it building. One. Give it a dark gray like that. Um, go into scene so I can see it better. Okay, now we're gonna click on this plane that we just made. This one doesn't matter because it's a normal plane. This one's the building. So what I'm gonna do is this mesh collider. I hate mesh colliders because they don't work with other colliders. They're just there to like stop it and stuff and do triggers. So what? We're, and they're really laggy if they're really high poly meshes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a Physics, box collider, and that should be right. Click on gizmos so I can see it. And I need to go to edit collider and then go to scene view so I can see it. Now, we don't want to be able to access the building from every side because it's going to be, we want to only be able to access this from the, from right there. So, I'm going to actually just drag this out. It's about right there. I'm going to drag. Oh, I didn't finish the collider. And then I'm going to set um, this. Ah, I hate that. I'm just going to move that down to about right there. And that down to about right there. And then I'm going to go in this plane and create another box collider. And I'm going to scale it. And that, sh and that one, yeah, that should be the size. That one's not going to be a trigger, but this first one is. So now we have kind of a door. But, and so now we need to make two scripts. And I've already finished the script, so it shouldn't take as long that, as it did when I was writing the scripts. And trying to record it for the first time. So now let's just test this by taking your guy. You can see I've got the gizmos on so I can see the collider. Golly, he moves. It's so annoying when he does that. Okay, so now you can see that doesn't work. And it's probably because that works. Scene view, go to the side. Not, oh yeah, that. Notice that it's kind of 
So if we select that and then that, and then we go into side view, we'll see that the colliders aren't really working to help us. So I'm going to move this guy on the Y as much as I can without it going. Oh, it's global the Z. Okay, it has to be made as 0.1. Yes. Now let's try it. So that should work. And I don't know why it's going through, but real honestly, that doesn't matter. Um, I guess it's because the plane is... Wait a second. Let me go into side view. Ah, all right, we need to set the Z, I think. Yes, we need to set the Z of both of these colliders. Let's say something like furry. So that we should now be able to run in the first one and not the second one. And that's exactly what we need. Okay, that's perfect. And I'm just going to make that like one. So it's not as thick and menacing. Okay, so now that we've got that, we need to get into writing our scripts. Um, so first of all, we need to go to our plane and create a new script called string value. Um, and I came up with this because I hate doing all this stuff. So I'm just going to double click to open this in Text Wrangler. In, oh, it did that again. I need to open recent into room. No, string. Can I move this? Move to a new window. Okay, there it is. So, oh, whoops. So, that's actually what it is. That's all it is. It's just a public string and it's a text. And all we do. All it does is just that. It just gets a text. So I took the wrong one. So I'm going to move to a new window and I'm just going to type in. Because this is the one in our assets folder. I'm going to type in, fix the formatting. Again, sorry, I can't change the text size. I'm going to change this. I'm just going to say public string text. Save it. Close up. And we should be able okay there it is so now we have this text and I'm going and since this is what we're going to be using to move to our room we want this to be a room one now I'm not sure well because this is on here it's only going to broadcast it when we say so. And I actually have to move this to a new. Um, roof component. Create. Um, this. Create a box. Because. Oh, and then I need to set this to the size of the box, which is five. Whoa. Not ten. Ten. 10 by 1 by 10 so that it gives us that nice overlap and then yeah now that should work now what we're going to do is we're going to create a script for our guy and you'll notice we have a missing script and that's what I need to do so I'm going to go new script enter room double click to open it's this is the one that I need. I'm gonna move it to a new window because I have another window. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start working on the script by first well we need three variables. We need a public string tag name. So it's checking for the tag, not just any object, then public string value get map name semicolon 
then private string um, scene name. Now I'm going to go void on trigger enter collider call. Open this up and say scene name is equal to get map name dot text semicolon. Then we're going to say application dot load level um whoops scene name semicolon. Now what this will do is if we come back in it will give us a tag name and it's going to be building building and then the string value we can just click on this and it'll show all the objects with this and it will be the plane. So now we're going to go to the plane and set the tag to um, we need to add a tag and actually I need to delete I need to unparent this. So now I'm going to click on this go to here add tag building. Because if we run into this, we don't want that to have the same tag as this. Well, I guess it doesn't. Hmm. Alright, so now if we go to our game object, we say that's plane and that's the one we need. So that's building. Not enemy, building. Then we need to save this as world. Then we need to go back into now we need to go file build settings because this will not work without doing this and it's already in there because I did that earlier. So mm-hmm. That should work. So now if we hit play and we walk into here, you'll notice we automatically go into here. And so yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Um, be sure to like this video and subscribe to us. Next tutorial will most likely be smoothing things up, like making our guy not move as fast and stuff. So, yeah, um, I also realized that I'm recording this video really close to Christmas, so have a Merry Christmas, guys. Um, I probably will not be coming back for with a new tutorial, probably because it might take me a while to figure it out, what to do, and it also might take me a while just because of Christmas time. So, Merry Christmas, and catch you next time.